Batteries are crucial in everything we do. Your phone, tablet, camera, torches, etc. All run on batteries. Some are rechargeable, some are not. But how do they work? While there are many types of batteries, the basic concept is always the same. When a battery is connected to a device, an electrochemical reaction occurs. This is first discovered by an Italian physicist called Count Alessandro Volta in 1799. He created a simple battery out of metal plates and a brine soaked cardboard. Since then we have vastly improved the design and now they come in loads of different materials and lots of different sizes. Let's take a look at any battery. It has two terminals, one marked with a plus and one marked with a minus. On a AA, AAA, CD battery, these terminals are located on the ends, whereas something like a 9 volt battery or a car battery have them both on the same side. If you just connect a single wire from one end of the battery to the other, then electrons will flow from one terminal to the other, however this will ruin the battery and could actually be dangerous with larger batteries. To access the full potential of the charge, you must connect it to a load. This load might be a starter motor, or an iPad, or a laptop, or anything that's electrical. The inner workings of the battery is always housed in some kind of metal or plastic case. Inside the case there is a cathode which is connected to a positive terminal and then there's an anode which is connected to the negative terminal. These components are more commonly known as electrodes and what take up most of the space inside a battery. This is also where the chemical reaction takes place. The separator creates a barrier between the cathode and the anode preventing the two electrodes from touching each other while allowing a flow of charge between them. The separator is called an electrolyte. When a circuit is then completed, the electrons can flow around the circuit to the other side of the battery. As the chemical reaction happens, the chemicals generally get turned into other chemicals. This then reduces the amount of chemicals available for the reaction, and thus decreases the available electrons. This has the effect of decreasing the voltage as time goes on. An interesting side note, batteries actually become dysfunctional when they reach a low enough voltage. This can be anywhere between 0.8 and 1 volts for a standard AA battery. When you actually have a rechargeable battery, when you plug it into a power source, the flow of electrons is reversed and this also reverses the chemical reaction inside, bringing it back to its original state. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this short video. I just want to say thanks for all the continued support throughout my exam. It really means a lot to me to see all the statistics increase without me actually being able to produce videos. It's the summer now, so I have loads of ideas ready to go. Hopefully, I will get a video out once every fortnight, if not quicker. But till next time, bye!